Next up from our studio here in Stockholm, we have Sprint Bioscience and presenting is CEO Eric Kiemann. Welcome, Eric. Thank you. Great to be here. So before I start presenting uh, Sprint Bioscience, I'd just like to give you some, some numbers to think about. Um, 2019, uh, some 66,000 new cancer patients uh, uh, got the diagnosis in Sweden. Uh, the same year, 22,500 actually died from their cancer. On a global level, uh, 2020 there were 19 million new cancer cases and that is expected to grow to some uh, 30 million by 2040. So clearly there's a great unmet medical need, a need to um, develop more effective and more safe cancer therapies. And this is what Sprint Bioscience is about. Our mission is um, to contribute to that and uh, to deliver breakthrough preclinical oncology uh, drug programs to uh, licensed partners. And this will take us to our um, vision, which is to become a profitable growth company. This slide summarizes what we've achieved to date. Uh, we do have a multiple and increasing sources of revenue portfolio. Uh, we have a track record by now in terms of uh, three outlicensed programs uh, with a total revenue opportunity of 747 million US dollars uh, and on top of that uh, significant royalties as well. We have two programs in the cancer field. Uh, one is the Petra 01 program. Uh, the second is VPS 34. And then we also have a NASH program. In addition to this, in our portfolio, we have three internal um, cancer programs. Uh, that's VADA, uh, DISA and NEMA. And um, these are uh, and constitute new licensing opportunities. In our very cost-effective, agile and flexible organization, we can rapidly develop uh, uh, one new preclinical oncology program per year. Our focus is on scientifically validated uh, new target proteins uh, which fulfill uh, the opportunity of, of uh, um, an unmet medical need. And um, in addition to that, obviously, uh, a commercial uh, potential. Through our uh, very agile process, uh, we are able to, de to develop programs that uh, um, actually offer uh, the potential license partner a first-in-class opportunity, which is important in this field. So altogether, we have multiple high potential revenue streams possibilities, and uh, so far we've um, actually received some 158 million Swedish crowns, which have helped us in the development of the company and also the development of the portfolio. The slides um, which summarizes our place in the drug development process. Uh, we are filling a gap in the industry in terms of providing new um, starting points for um, effective drugs. Um, so we're focused on the early stages of development. Um, and what we deliver is uh, lead drug candidates um, uh, with quite limited initial investments. Uh, we then outlicense this completely to a partner who actually provides the further funding and the resources necessary to take the programs to the market. Um, and we receive an upfront payment and the deals will usually um, involve also milestone payments throughout development and once on the market also uh, milestone sales milestones and significant uh, royalties on sales. The slide summarizes the outlicensed programs in our portfolio. So we have the VPS uh, 34 program, which addresses immune oncology, and I, I will get back to that in a moment. This is in preclinical development, um, being prepared to move into clinical development. And the license uh, is to uh, decipher a uh, major US uh, oncology focus program with one product on the market and several clinical programs already in their uh, pipeline. The total deal value of this program is some 277 million US dollars. 
We then have the PETRA-01 program, which is developed by Hybricell, another oncology-focused U.S. company. Um, this program addresses autophagy and um, cell, cancer cell um, growth. Uh, is also in the preclinical stage, being prepared for um, moving it into clinical development. The total deal value of this program is some 240 million US dollars and in also here there are significant royalties um, if there would be products on the market. In addition to this we have a NASH program which is an earlier stage program still in preclinical development together with um, LG Chem, a Korean pharma company. This is a summary of our um, internal programs. Uh, we have VADA, which is the most developed program in, in this part of the portfolio. Um, this um, program addresses DNA repair and cell division of cancer cells. Um, we are targeting partners uh, and have several di discussions ongoing go when, when it comes to this program. The DISA program um, addresses also solid tumors um, and um, actually addresses a mechanism that uh, cancer cells utilize to escape uh, an immune response. Uh, we have just announced the target protein when it comes to this and uh, we'll start presenting the program to interested uh, potential license uh, partners uh, starting by Europe uh, which is a partner meeting taking place um, at the end of October. Then we have the NEMA program which is a new program we um, quite recently announced, which addresses several mechanisms involved in cancer survival and cancer growth uh, and also immune escape. And we will start um, targeting um, potential licensing partners with this program sometime next year. <coughs> so this program, uh, this slide, um, actually summarizes our long-term vision, namely to become a profitable growth company. So we have the three programs that are out-licensed already, and then we have the three internal programs, which um, are new license deal opportunities. And these together build um, multiple sources of revenue streams. And over time, these will increase as the, develop, as the pro programs mature and uh, will um, get us to the goal of being uh, profitable and, and cash flow positive. This is a um, high-level summary of our uh, process, uh, a very agile process, taking us from the idea, which uh, where the starting point is um, uh, academia. So the good news uh, when thinking about the problem of uh, increasing incidences of cancer and still very high unmet medical needs within the space is that there are very novel scientific opportunities. And what we want to do is to industrialize these um, ideas. So when there is um, a target protein um, which addresses a mechanism uh, which has the potential to actually fulfill an unmet medical need, um, we will make models of this protein um, from our fragment lib library. Um, we will then in an iterative process um, develop molecules uh, that can be the starting point of future drugs. And if this is all possible and we can validate that these actually um, act as expected in terms of the mechanism, um, these are then outlicensed. And this process takes on average some one and a half years. Uh, this should be compared to the industry average, which is some five years from uh, idea to molecule. Our focus areas uh, involve several areas uh, relevant to cancer survival and cancer growth. One is uh, the immune system or immune response. Uh, another is tumor metabolism. So cancer cells need a lot of energy to, to grow. And because uh, they are cancer cells, they need to use other alternative ways of generating the energy needed. And these mechanisms can be addressed. Uh, another is uh, the microenvironment of the tumor, so the, uh, because the tumor cells are growing very rapidly, um, they need uh, certain mechanisms to actually enable that uh, rapid growth. VPS 34 is one such um, opportunity. So uh, tum tumors um, have the problem 
uh, have used the mechanism of actually escaping uh, the immune system by um, stopping immune cells from invading them. So these term, the term for this um, is uh, cold tumors. Um, what this program does when inhibiting the protein VPS34 is that um, tumors again will be invaded by immune cells and activated immune cells. Uh, the tumors are then hot, uh, which uh, will actually enable the immune system um, to fight the cancer. The uh, graph here shows um, an experimental model um, looking at um, melanoma cancer. Uh, the red line is the growth uh, without any treatment. Uh, and then you have the yellow line, which is checkpoint inhibitors, um, a modern immune oncology type of three treatment which uh, stops some of the growth. Molecules from our program uh, will have an even better effect, and combining these two will potentiate the effect of uh, both these type of treatments. So the opportunity is both monotherapy but also uh, combination therapy. And looking at the overall um, uh, benefit these therapies actually introduce, um, it addresses only 13% of the market. So combination therapy will, will actually potentiate that um, 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 commercial potential um, considerably. So the PETRA01 is also out licensed. It addresses leukemia. Um, the graph here shows a, potent, uh, a very potent effect on, on tumor growth. Uh, this is developed now further by um, Hybricell, VPS34 um, by Decipher. Uh, we have the NASH program, uh, which also is out licensed. It's uh, early stage. It, it addresses um, fatty liver, which is uh, a huge commercial opportunity and also uh, a high medical need, uh, since there are no treatments in this field uh, yet. Uh, and what the um, protein does, um, it, it's involved in both fat uptake, liver inflammation, liver fibrosis, and liver fibrosis turning into cirrhosis and liver cancer. The program is, is now in preclinical development and um, we are collaborating with the Korean company LG Chem in terms of the uh, further development, uh, pre um, preparing it for clinical development. So the VADA program um, is a, a mechanism that cancer cells use to actually repair faulty DNA, which uh, often occurs in cancer cells uh, because of their nature and also assists in this, um, cell division and, and multiplying of cells. Turning this mechanism off uh, will have the same type of effect as radiation uh, therapy and, and chemotherapy. Um, and uh, since the cancer cells then have fragmented uh, damaged DNA and also the cells can't divide, the immune system can also attack the tumor. This ad addresses uh, the solid tumor market, a huge market, um, where colon cancer and pancreatic cancer uh, is, is good, good examples. The DISA program uh, is um, the program that we recently announced, um, a, a new program addressing T-Rex, which is a mechanism um, that cancer cells use to escape the immune system um, by blocking this um, the uh, DNA fragments in the cells will be recognized by the immune system and the immune system can assist in fighting the, the cancer as well. The NEMA program addresses several uh, mechanisms. So uh, the target um, NEMA is used by cancer cells to actually assist in the tumor met metabolism, generating the energy that cancer cells need and also in setting up the microenvironment necessary for cancer cells to grow and also escaping the immune system. By blocking this, uh, the situation uh, in the tissue would be normalized and uh, the cancer can be um, attacked. This um, protein is elevated in um, cancers uh, with poor prognosis. Good examples of that is ovarian cancer and glioblastoma. So in summary, um, we have a compelling portfolio with multiple and increasing sources of revenue. 
We do have a track record of delivering high quality preclinical cancer programs and by now we have three out license programs with a uh, total deal value of 747 million US dollars and on top of that significant royalty opportunities. We have three out licensed, uh, we have three internal preclinical programs which constitute uh, new possibilities in terms of out licensing uh, deals and uh, we have the capacity to deliver with limited uh, investments one additional program at least per year to add to the portfolio and giving us further opportunities to reach our long-term vision to become a profitable growth company. Well, thank you very much. Thank you so much for that presentation, Eric. I uh, just have some questions for you. Sure. Um, I'd like to begin by the outlicense programs that you that you mentioned. Uh, since y you've signed quite a mm, quite a few, uh, how would you say these affect the interest in the company? Well, I, as I said, I, I think we by now do have a track record. Um, we, I, I think this uh, validates the quality of what we're doing. So, so the sort of starting point in terms of the molecules and the series of molecules that uh, we develop and, and also in choosing the right um, protein. And, and also um, it validates the sort of the, the, the business model in, in um, uh, taking them to the preclinical stage. And, and this is still quite early in, in uh, development. And as we are actually striking deals, um, I, I think that this validates both the business model, our ability to strike deals with, with uh, um, good p uh, partners. Um, and as we've done this, I, th I think that um, other companies are realizing uh, that we do have the potential to, to deliver. Um, and it, it actually has had the impact that uh, there is growing interest and, and, and uh, uh, people in our network um, are, are actually um, asking for meetings um, just to hear what we are actually doing rather mm -hmm. than us approaching them. All right. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so uh, talking about financing, right now you're quite well financed. Um, what does that mean overall for the activity of the company? Yes, this, this is very true. Uh, I think we're in a better situation than we've actually ever been uh, in terms of the company history. So uh, the, the um, uh, director chair issue, the, the rights issue, uh, the recent deal that we did uh, with uh, Decipher and, and uh, uh, the con convertible that we did all together has put in a, us in a very favorable situation in terms of focusing on, on actually accelerating what we're doing in terms of delivering new projects, um, discussing projects with um, potential partners, and, and also interacting with the current um, uh, partners, um, doing the, the best we can to, to assist them in, in taking these programs to the next milestone. Mm -hmm. Um, well, recently uh, Bjorn Hörstrand was uh, elected chairman of the board for Sprint Bioscience. Um, how, how has his entry affected the company? I, I think he brings with him um, a, a lot of good new things. Mm -hmm. um, we are, as, as I'm sure you're aware, um, a couple of people who are new. Uh, I, I myself, um, uh, I, I joined the company t uh, some eight months ago and we have a new CFO. And Bjorn is new since this summer uh, as the chairman of the board and um, he has brought his leadership to the uh, board. Um, what he's also brought is, is uh, a, a clear engagement um, in, in the company. It's, it's not just uh, that he's actually bought into uh, the share and has skin in the game, but he's, he's very engaged in what we're doing. And he um, contributes, I believe, very much with his international experience as an executive, being CEO of both Swedish companies but also international companies, and being very much involved in both M&As and BD activities uh, around the world. So he understands <coughs> this business, which is also very important for us. Mm -hmm. That's great. Uh, well, uh, thank you so much for answering the questions, and thank you again for your presentation, and we wish you all the best with your work going forward. Thank you very much.